So today we're going to be talking about the thing that OCG gets every once in a while now being the perfect rulebook promo. Now this is a card that has a actual errata to the game like what they've done with things like Ancient Fairy Dragon or many other previous cards like Sangin and Witch of the Black Forest. Now I've pulled off five cards that we could talk about and let's see what we could think of for that. And I would like to know you guys' opinions down in the comments below. So there is that. So first off, we're going to be talking about Dandelion. Now, Dandelion, people think, will be coming off the ban list because it's in the Speed Duel uh, midterm paradigm, midterm destruction, one of the two. I don't really remember the name right now of the next Speed Duel set that's coming out. And OCG could give an errata to it. So it you summon out the two tokens, and then you cannot use them for Link summons, but you can still use them for Synchro summon. Now, in my opinion, Dandelion is just one of those cards that are super, super powerful, depending on what deck you're playing. And if you make it Link Xenophobics, I, I think you could say, make it where the tokens can't be used for a Link Summon, it would definitely be better because things like Sun Avalon can't use it. And other than that, we have seen a newer version of it come out being Dandy White Lion. So, realistically, we could see it on the lines of the opposite of this, where this one summons three tokens, but you cannot use the extra deck the turn you activate that effect. But being able to summon out two tokens, level ones, so you could synchro away is pretty fine because when Lynx came out, it's just one of those cards that you realistically you knew it was going to be busted. Now, after that, let's talk about the next card up on the line being metamorphosis now this was a card that i brought up in multiple discords of what could be eroded and honestly i could see them eroding this card to be like back mutation or in the tcg mutamorphosis and realistically you can have it worded like this tribute one monster special summon one fusion monster from your extra deck with the same level as the tributed monster to the original level but return it to the deck during the end phase and you can only activate one metamorphosis per turn. So realistically, being able to shut off some lines and putting metamorphosis to a once per turn is super good in certain situations. You can and have to be careful with it because you could summon out things like Millennium Eyes Restrict or a few other cards that could help through your combo to prevent hand traps depending on what deck you're playing or even get a free extender depending on the deck because you could run just the fusion monsters to summon out so you can just get free extension. But other than that, it's just one of those cards that is just been on my radar for a little bit for an errata. After that, we have ultimate offering in the TCG and OCG. We recently got terminal offering or ultimate offering and they are realistically on the same line. Terminal Offering, you pay 1,000, you can conduct three normal summons or sets. During your opponent's battle phase, you pay 500, and you get a free normal summon, and you can only use each effect once per turn. So, you get three summons on your turn for normal or sets, and one on your opponent's, while Ultimate Offering is just pay 100 as much as you can. But realistically, Ultimate Offering, in my opinion, could come back off the list to three with no change, and people still won't play it, because rather, a lot of decks don't, or really don't need it since we just cobble off anyways. And honestly, it's just another card that you could have off the ban list. Now, the two questionable ones. I've talked about Crystal and Halka Fibrex on the channel before, and this is one of the cards that you kind of have to be wary of what you can do. Now, one of the things you could do for the card is make it where it locks you into Water Machine Monsters, for the rest of the turn so only things like crystals can help it or you could just lock it into pure machines so any machine deck can use it realistically it is a card that can be abused in certain ways if i would say so there's just quite a bit that can happen now another thing you can do you can make it will act where you need a crystal tuner instead so it can only be used in crystal or it just summons out a Crystal Run Tuner, so you can't get advantage off of things like a Lion, Jet Synchron, or any of the tuners that they banned back then. Like one of my friends put it, you can lock it to Machine Synchros as well. 
So there's many different ways that you can lock this card to make it where it can only be used in certain decks like Speedroid, Crystron, or even just Machine Synchro decks in general. And finally, one of the cards that we talked about in one of the discords was number 95 galaxy eyes dark matter dragon so one of the good ways to arata this card is banish face down the cards from your deck instead of putting them to the graveyard so it matches closer to i would say the manga it makes it more manga accurate and it doesn't break things because your opponent banishes three from their deck and you banish three from your deck. So that's one of the ways that you can make it a little less powerful because sending for cost is really, really dumb, in my opinion. And this card was banned back in 2018, all because of a Gandora FTK that's really no longer viable at all since... OCG eroded that. But realistically, this is just another card on this list that we could talk about. And those were five of the cards that I picked out. I want to know what you all would like to see, because personally, I do have a couple others that I would like to see, like Level Eater being on here, where you could just put it as a hard once per turn or use it only for Synchro Summons. Then you also have things like Magical Scientist, because Magical Scientist, you can put a hard once per turn on it, and it's absolutely fine. Same with something like Mind Master, put another hard once per turn on it, and it's absolutely fine. So there's so many cards on the Forbidden Limited list that you can slap a hard once per turn on it, and it fixes the card. And it's kind of crazy when you think about it, because I can think of 10 already, like Cluster Almirelis as one, you have something like Eclipse Wyvern, put a hard once per turn on it, that would kind of fix it as well. Uh, Perform Age Plush Fire, put a hard once per turn on the special summon it, when it's destroyed. So there's that. You also have something like, oh, I don't know, Rodent Toten maybe, but they're not going to do that because Rodent Toten is still legal in the OCG. I guess you have Fishborn Blaster. That's another good option for an errata that they could do for this after that we have the final cards i should probably talk about because there's so many links and exceeds on here um there's not really many others i could think of those that is literally eight and i said ten i'm you have mass driver that's another one that you could put a hard ones per turn on and finally i would say something like butterfly dagger elma as another hard once per turn so that is 10 options there that you could do for that but anyways i hope you guys did enjoy this video let me know what you think on what could get eroded in the future but anyways i've been bolt spider see you all in the next video